you, you brought up a very important point here, and that is the word consensus. You are told that there's an overwhelming consensus. They say 97%, which is just a stupid number they plucked out of the air and perpetuated. It's, it's a ridiculous thing. There's, there's two questions here. Is there really a 97% agreement among scientists that humans are the main cause of climate change and it's a catastrophe? Because you see, there's three elements to this. It's like an onion in a way. First, is there climate change? Of course. Second, are humans the main cause? Very unlikely, because it's been happening all through the history of 500 million years and more. Second, is it dangerous or catastrophic? No, is the total answer to that, because there's nothing happening that is out of the ordinary. We're just getting storms and rain and droughts and normal things which have been happening for 10,000 years. So consensus though, then you come to the question of, well, what if there is a consensus among scientists? This word is not a science word. Consensus is a political word. Consens you see, policy, which is politics, is about decisions. Science is about facts, truth. Truth, facts, are different from decisions. Decisions are made on the basis of good facts, if you're lucky. You can make good policy from good facts. You can't make good policy from bad facts. You can even make bad policy from good facts, if idiots are in charge. <laughs> but remember, do not ever let anybody tell you there's a consensus in science. Because Galileo, Darwin, Mendel, Einstein, just to name four of the most important scientists, had to fight against a false consensus for decades or even until they died. And they were one person. When Einstein, who was a clerk in a patent office in Austria, published the theory of relativity, 100 prominent scientists, way more important than him, published a critique of his theory saying he was wrong. Einstein was asked by a journalist, what do you think of this? 100 of your colleagues have declared that you are wrong. He said, why 100? It only takes one. <laughs> and this is the principle. Science has nothing to do with how many people agree on something. That's politics. Politics, democracy, is about majority rule and consensus. It only makes sense, because that's because people have taken the facts as they know them to be and decided that those facts make more sense to have this policy. Whereas the facts themselves have nothing to do with opinion. They only have to do with whether they are true or not. And so policy is informed by facts, but consensus is not allowed to be in science. And they are fooling everybody by saying that it matters that even if 97% of scientists agreed on this climate catastrophe, that it would matter. It doesn't. They could all be wrong, easy, like have been in the past, many times, on important issues. But the 97% is a total myth to begin with. Many papers have been written analyzing the analysis that was done to reach the 97%. And if you look at the various parameters from what these scientists say, are they saying that climate change is happening? Probably yes. Are they saying humans are the main contribution? No, not anywhere near always. Some of them admit that probably humans have some contribution, but they don't say it's the most important contribution. And in the final analysis, are they saying it's dangerous? Almost none say this in a science paper, because that is some kind of future prediction 
that very few scientists are going to go on to that. So when it comes down to it, you know how many papers in this 11,000 papers fit that humans are the main cause and it's dangerous? 3%. Not 97%, the exact opposite of 97%. 3%. So they just, they put that argument out to shut you down right at the beginning. Because why would you argue with 97% of world scientists being in favor of this idea that we're causing catastrophic climate change. It's a lie to begin with, and even if it was true, it wouldn't matter one bit. That's the truth. 